What's up everybody, it's Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics. Today I'm going to take you on a DIY. We're going to turn a basic test light into something rather cool. Spiraled with a banana. So stay tuned as we hop into it. So the best automotive test light we're going to use the OTC circuit tester. Um, this one's just going to have just a straight non-spiral cable. It's a little bit longer. But we're going to make the best one there is. First things first, we're going to cut this off. Take it off. Trash. So one thing I'm going to do is kind of extend it out. Um, don't hate me. I'm going to use a little bit of red because I was out of my black. But you need to strip this. Let's start here. Extended. I don't know, about 10 inches or so. Now, turn my solder and iron. We're going to want to solder these together. Soldering, just like welding, you want to make sure you get that good penetration. For my solder, I'm just using some one millimeter, and then it's already got flux built into it. Make sure you got some decent penetration in there top and bottom so that way you don't have any air pockets in there that could possibly cause any type of sparking because that can happen now good and tight Take a little bit of heat shrink. See if this will fit. That one won't. Well, this one. This one will. Shrink your heat shrink. Heat shrinks good and shrinked. Next thing. So on this one, I'm actually going to color this. I'm going to do blue just because I like blue. Use some blue fabric wire loom. I usually try and will singe the end of this because if not 
whenever you actually go to put it on it can fray out and we'll just feed it on there Now, once you get about an inch away from the end of it, you want to stop, take all the slack out of it, and then cut it. And then you want to cut it probably about a quarter of an inch to an inch past the end of the wire, which you can feel with your finger. And then same thing, you want to syringe the end of it, or sear the end of it, not syringe. And then kind of push it down to just a little bit of a circle and you'll see why later on in this thing kind of want to go down to a circle now once you got that dried up and cooled down you want to push the end of the wire through it all the way down to the end. Now, now that it's at the very end, pull your slack back out. Once your slack back out, you want to take another little bit of uh, heat shrink Put it on. Now, for this heat shrink, you want it to kind of go up as far as you can, but you still want it on your wire. So what this is going to do is hold on to the test light, but then also hold on to your wire loom. And then shrink it down. Now when you're doing this, be careful that you do not sear your shrink tube or your uh, wire loom because if not then you'll have to redo it all and who likes redoing stuff twice I can't afford to then after you get that done take out all your slack now now that all your slacks done might have a little bit of extra now this is why you rounded this off what you'll do is you'll take the end of your banana plug Let's see if I can get it focus in you'll take the end of your banana plug and put it on the wire now since you kind of rolled that in it should make go a little bit easier Once it's through, you want to trim the end of it off. For this banana plug, you probably want close to an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch or more. What I like about these banana plugs is there is no soldering on them which is a huge plus you take your banana little allen key don't drop it on the ground like I did now 
once it's on there, you just push it in. Once you torque these to guten tight on the guten meters, my, el my elbow is calibrated, click, click. Slide this back down. And click it on. Now you have a test light with a Mel Banana on it, covered in blue. But on this one, we're not gonna stop there. We're going to take a wooden dowel and have a little bit of fun with it. Now, since I'm extremely lazy, I just went ahead and broke my dowel instead of cutting it down to length. But for you, I'd probably recommend cutting it. And then you wanna take a little bit of painter's tape. On the end of it and then you want to go back from however far you want from your test light so like for me I'll probably just go back a couple inches and tape the test light to the dowel And then from there, I'm going to spiral and tape it back off. Kind of make sure this is good and tight on the guten meters. Now, after it is good and tight on the guten meters, wrapped around your dowel and taped off, the next thing you'll want to use is a heat gun. Now, when you do this, probably want to do about a minute or two per six inches to make sure it's hot but when you do it you also want to make sure that you don't singe this um, the wire loom because you can if it gets too hot After you got it nice and hot to the touch, to where it's pretty freaking hot, um, you want to let it set and cool off. So you need to let it set for a minimum of about an hour. Um, longer the better, but at a minimum of an hour. So we're going to let it set here for about an hour, and we'll come back to it. So I've let it set for about an hour. Let's take a look at it and see if this was an epic failure or an epic win. Definitely say epic win. Woohoo! 
nice little spiral probably heat it up a little again again just to get it good and tight but I would 100% say that this right here is going to be the best test light there is pretty nifty little setup pretty excited about this one so all right so as you can see there I mean that was a fairly simple process turning just your basic test light into something custom um, you might ask yourself besides just the you know sweetness of doing this what's the purpose of it the biggest one would be adding the banana to it adding the banana to it <clears throat> and you might ask why add the banana well you can add the banana and then add you an alligator to it or let's say you want to pierce and yes I said pierce if you treat the wires afterwards piercing is not that big of an issue say so you want to pierce it <clears throat> now you have the option what if you want to back probe well if you back probe now you can or let's say you got a lead set with all the different size leads in there then you have that option too <clears throat> um, some things to note after getting this done and my first round with it <clears throat> Now I had mentioned don't get the heat gun too close or you'll melt the sheathing well my first one I melted the sheathing so I actually had to swap my sheathing out um, I'll, I think the camera might have picked it up and I'll take a screenshot and I'll post it right now so that way you can see what I'm talking about but um, second thing in the video I said just leave it on for an hour well I left it on for an hour and whenever I took it off it was still kind of soft and it didn't really hold that much memory in the wires so I actually um, put it back on for put it back on the Dow reheated it and let it set for 24 hours um, for our entire day and after that I mean the memory was a whole lot better so the longer you can let it set and develop that memory the better off you'll be with the spiral uh, <clears throat> Another reason for the spiral versus leaving it out long is under dashes, you know, if you've ever been under a dash working, you know that whenever you got your test light and you go under your dash, you'll lay down and you'll be fighting to grab the wire from your test light that's under your back or under your shoulder, under your head, and you're just trying to fight around. Well, this shrinks it down, but still allows you to pull it outwards. So, uh, that really helps out and also I don't like a whole lot of wires just strode everywhere so you know being a spiral it really helps out too just keeps it shorter but you know you still got that length <clears throat> um, but you know the cool thing with these also is you can customize it to pretty much whatever color you want um, <clears throat> you know between the different color bananas and then the sheathing you can get in so many different colors it's unreal so well, that's about it. Um, thanks for hanging out with me and get you one of these, build it, and get out there and start diagnosing vehicles. And always remember, did you diag today, bro? I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you guys want, I can actually put together a little kit. It'll come with everything needed from the banana to the sheathing and the... Uh, <coughs> Shrink, uh, shrink tube just that way you only have to buy what's needed to make one of these instead of buying like a 10 pack of bananas with the sheathing um, I'll have tons of different colors if that's something you guys are interested in I can link it down below um, just that way you guys can do a little DIY project but not having to buy a whole lot of excess materials that you may or may not ever use but I'll catch you guys on the next one thanks for hanging out with me <laughs>